Y'all, YouTube. I'm back. I have probably been fishing. I've probably made fin 10, 8 to 10 trips fishing for snakehead since my last video. Um, spawning season is in full swing, uh, at least here in the bodies of water that I've been fishing. And it's been dead and frustrating. Um, hits are far few in between and uh, rarely are they hits that are about um, getting, are about attacking to feed. So today I'm gonna to be doing um, two things. I'm gonna be uh, casting my topwater frog, of course, but I also bought some bull minnows. Just to see what happens. It has really been tough. I'm still going to be uh, doing just catch and release if I catch anything. But I got to get the skunk off. They have been striking me out for like 50 innings now. And I just can't have that. So uh, let's see what I can do. Stick with me. Uh, with, with it being uh, uh, spawning season... Uh, for the snakehead, a lot of uh, man, that is a big bass. Let's see if I can catch him real quick. I see a massive snakehead. snakehead. Looked at the frog and swam off. So I got these minnow, minnow in here now. To see if I can get it. Man, I am happy and messed up at the same time. The snakehead broke my rod. Broke the rod. And then The battery pack slipped out. So I lost video on my GoPro. But I was able to get that monster in here. Man, oh man. What I've noticed This is probably uh, one of them that got off earlier when I fished over here at the beginning of this video. What I've noticed uh, is that this particular spot is spawning. So all the time that I was uh, wasting casting a minnow and the uh, lure uh, to them, they just shut off. When they're spawning, uh, they're, they're just shut off. And that's what I've spent most of my evening doing. 
So before leaving, decided to cast back in this area. And uh, this snakehead is a monster. It's a monster. Uh, it wasn't, um, there's no fry uh, near the area uh, in this little section here, no fry. And it was tempting to eat earlier. So it may be past its spawning phase. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm paying attention to that and noticing that as a as an indicator of uh, these snakeheads and their habits. But this massive snakehead here, this is by far the biggest one I think I've caught. I'm going to get a weight and a measure on it. Man, did not want to resort to the Bob and Minnow, but uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Massive. Mm -mm. 24 25 inch snake head 25 inches Four point four six pounds. I'm sure you can see that. Four point four six. Twenty five inch snakehead, man. Oh, I finally got a video. Massive. Well, time for me to get out of here. I could look at this forever. Broke the rod in half. One more look at her. Man. This is carp. Carp. Man. And if I landed a snakehead this size, this weight, I'd love it. I'd love it. First one I actually caught on a worm too.
Back you go. Today I'm using um, some minnows because this has been so slow. Otherwise, um, top water lures, anything for that matter, just doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna give our live bait a try and see what happens. I'm gonna be using a uh, two art uh, octopus circle hook, bull minnows and a barber. Bull minnow and the barber gonna be probably roughly six inches apart from the uh, steel leader because uh, they're, they're still in spawning season but uh, a lot of activity their activity is right on the surface so I don't need to be too low with my barber or too high rather and nothing else has been working so let's see what happens Oh, it got it. Yeah, it let it go. It got it. Little guy. Little guy. He's been through some wars. He's uh, he's got some damage to his tail. Let's get him back in the water. Keep it fishing. Big, yeah. Man. Man. Yeah. Man. Man, man, man. Big boy, by my standards.
huge fish by my standards. Definitely gonna weigh him. Get him rinsed off. Man. I'm debating whether I'm gonna keep them. Beautiful fish. Let's uh, get a measurement on it. This fish is 25 and a half inches long. This fish is four pounds. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. See if there's another one in here before I get out of here. Man. The minnows, fishing with the minnows has just been really no different than fishing with artificial lures. They just don't bite if they're not in the appetite, not in the mood for it. And I just so happened to see something move off and it, it looked pretty big, big enough to be a carp, but I've never seen carp in this little particular area here. And uh, little did I know I could see it staring at the, the bait, deciding whether to hit. And, uh, when I twitched it, it hit it. And instantly I knew it was a snakehead. Big one, big one, big one. Really nice size fish uh, by my standards, but again, not the dragon, not the 30 plus crowd, but I'm working on it. Their mouth. Look at their mouth. This one is going back for another time. Ran out of time and uh, just don't have the patience now to catch the other one. I got uh, some arrangements to make. But um, this is what snakehead fishing is about. It's very slow, even uh, because of spawning. Even with live bait, it really doesn't improve the odds. Um, and it just, uh, the heat is uh, unbearable in addition to everything else being slow. But um, this is the reward. And I'll take it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep it fishing.